Hey guys, Noah here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to image your Raspberry Pi SD card to put uh, Raspbian and Wheezy on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's a pretty easy process. It may be a little bit slow because apparently I have to use my netbook because my laptop's in the shop. So, let's see. Um, if you first thing you need to do, you need to go to the Raspberry Pi website at raspberrypi.org. And you need to go to downloads. And at downloads, you want to scroll down until you see Raspy and Wheezy. You can either download a torrent file or a direct download. I recommend the torrent file just because it gives you a more precise download and gives you a guarantee almost not to screw it up. But you just click the Raspy and Wheezy setup.zip or whichever file you want to download. And just click on it and download it. It'll download it into a zip file. Either one will. But um, then you want to go to Google and type in 132 disk imager, and then click on this one that says download 132 disk imager 0.6 r46 free, and it'll be at softpedia.com. And you just click on that and go to the website, and then scroll down and then click this download button right here not this one because this is an ad but this download button right here this doesn't have a setup executable file or anything it has a zip file you just click on this external mirror one and it'll start your download um, it does not have a zip file it's just all the program files hooked up into one zip folder but there is an exe file in there you can run to get Windows Disk Imager, but once you're done downloading all of that, uh, you should get a folder that says Raz. No, that's the other one. But there should be a folder of that downloaded that has 2012 Wheezy Raspbian, and you extract that zip file and you get this image file from. This is an image file of the Raspbian Wheezy operating system. And in order to uh, put that onto your SD card, you have to insert SD card. And uh, as you can see, I already have some stuff on mine. So before you do anything to that SD card, you will have to format it. So back up your files. Just click on the SD and then click on format. Uh, this is only eight gigabytes, so it shouldn't take long to format it. So I'm not going to click uh, click format. And then uh, just click on start. And it says warning: formatting will erase all data on the hard disk. To format disk, click OK. To quick click to quit, click cancel. Click OK it'll start formatting the disk. It may be a little bit slower for me because I'm using a screen recorder but you know I'm on a Dell Mini 9 so and then when it's completed a message should come up Format complete, just click OK and then click close. Now you want to write the Raspbian image onto the um, SD card. You just open up, you extract Win32 Disk Imager and open the extracted folder and open the Win32 Disk Imager um, executable file. It's only 75 kilobytes. Uh, run that. And it's already going to automatically detect your SD card, which mine is. D. Uh, just open up the Raspbian image file, and it's right here. It opens up image files, and I believe that's about it. Uh, just click save, and then click write. And it says writing to a physical device can corrupt this, the device. Are you sure you want to continue? Click yes. It will for it will partition it to about 69 megabytes, 50 something, 70 something megabytes, but it'll be fine. Um, click yes, and it'll start writing. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video and I will uh, unpause it whenever the download is finished.
Um, just hang on a second. Okay, it is almost finished writing to the SD card. Just a couple more seconds. If you have a normal laptop with an SD card drive, it'll go a lot faster, but I'm on a netbook, so it's um, a little bit slow. So it says write successful. Um, then you just click exit, and you pop out your SD card. And quick note, make sure the lock is not on on the SD card, the lock function, or it won't write. Um, that's it for this video. Um, if you want to see how the you just pop the SD card in your Raspberry Pi and you plug it up, and you plug everything in. Make sure you plug the uh, make sure you plug the micro USB port, the micro USB plug in last to get power, uh, and everything should work. If something comes up on your screen, then you prepare the SD card correctly. This is Noel Whittington. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you guys later.